Hello everyone, we will continue the topic lock object and in the previous video, we took two input in the program. One is for order number, one is for payment mode. We called NQ function module through pattern button and yes, it will be used for locking. And same to same, I will go for the perception that everyone can cop up those who have the programming knowledge and those who do not have the programming knowledge. Now, we will simply, simply go for understanding. Then we will proceed with other parts. Whenever this program will run, whenever this program will run, suppose I gave the input as order number one, payment mode as n. So firstly, this function module will call. Whenever this function module will call, the order number one will go to nq function module and order number one will be logged, logged. Firstly, it will lock the order number one so that other cannot change at that point of time. So order number one will be locked. Suppose whenever order number one will be logged by me. So for me, it is success because I am the first user who is locking the order number one. But other users who is running the same to same program and they are giving the input one, same, same order number. Whenever this logic will execute for them, it is unsuccessful because this order number one is logged by me at that point of time. So others will get the error. I will be in the success state. Now just see it here one if statement is written now. In SAP, whenever you will see something starts with SY, SY, it means it is a SAP system variable. Whenever something starts with SY, it means it is a SAP system variable. And in the next playlist, you will see a full topic of system variables. What do you mean by system variable? System variable means they are predefined in the system. System will automatically understand. Now, when something starts with SY, it is a system variable. What is the name of system variable? Sub RC. Sub RC. What is this sub RC? In this sub RC, RC stands for return code, return code, or you can say return value. We are getting the return code. If this system variable is giving the value zero, zero, it means it is success. If this system variable is giving the value other than zero, other than zero, in that case, the operation is unsuccessful, unsuccessful. Other than zero means it can be one, two, three, four, ninety, nine hundred, any number. If it is zero, it is success. If it is other than zero, it is unsuccessful. See, now whenever this NQ will execute and size sub RC is zero, it means the order number is successfully logged, successfully logged. If the size sub RC is other than zero, it means this is a unsuccessful. Means suppose I'm the first user who is locking the order number one. So I will get size sub RC equal to zero because I'm the first user who is changing the order number one. But any other user who is changing the order number one at the same time, 
they will get the size sub R C other than zero. Now, this, this, this is not equal to symbol in SAP. This is not equal to symbol in SAP. Now, if this function module is giving the size sub R C other than zero, so we will give a message. We will give a message that this order number is logged, logged, you cannot change. So how we will give the message? Now, with those who know programming, they know very well, whenever we want to give a message, we can give the message through message class. Now, what I will do, the transaction code for the message class is SC91. I already have the existing message class, but I have a perception that many people will don't know, many people don't know programming at this point of time. So I will create a message class. Suppose I'm giving some name to the message class, Z message. I will click on to create button. Now, I will go to messages. I will save it as a local object. Now here I will give the message. Suppose I will give the message. The order number is already long. So I gave this message. Save this message. Now, what is the message number? 000. zero, zero. And this is the message text. How I will use this message into my program? I will simply, simply go to my program. Whenever you want to give a message into your program, the keyword is message. Now we will go for message. Suppose I will go for error message at this point of time. For the error message, we need to use E. And what is the message number? 000. 000. zero, zero, zero. And in the bracket, put the message class. This is your message class. In the future, you will find three playlists for the ABAP programming and you will find a full flash topic on message class. But yes, nothing to worry. Just go with the flow. Those who don't know the programming. So we gave the message by what syntax? Message is the keyword. Message type. I use which message type? Error. What is the message number? 000. zero, zero. And for this particular message class, I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now, if size sub RC is other than zero, it means this order number, whatever the order number you are passing is logged, logged. Whenever it is already logged, size sub rc will be other than zero and user will get the error message now if size sub rc is zero size sub rc is zero it means that order number is not logged by anyone else in that case we need to update that order number we need to update the payment mode of that order number Nothing to worry. Whenever I will show the flow, you will understand full, full. Now, size sub RC not equal to zero, we gave a message. Now, if size sub RC equal to zero, it means we need to go for which part? Else part else. In the upcoming playlist, you will also learn how to go for conditional statements if and case. Now in the else part, 
we will update the details of or we will update the payment mode of that order number and i will use the easy syntax of update statement we have update from internal table or work area also but at this point of time so many people don't know about work area internal table so i will use the most easiest syntax of update how we will update this database table how we will update the payment mode of the order number into this database table into this database table so we have the database operation update the keyword is update simply put tab you will get on the editor itself update now what is our database table this is our database table and i will use the easiest syntax of update database operation so that everyone can understand we want to update the payment mode for which particular order number whatever the order number we are passing from the screen so how i will write update database table set the keyword is set you want to change the payment mode and your payment mode is coming from where from this parameter remember the values are always on the right hand side suppose i give payment mode n so pm is equal to n n and for which order number you want to update where condition where where order number is equal to what is this where order number is equal to p underscore o n o now what is what we studied up to this level into this particular video what is the summary of this particular video in this video if i am the first user who is working on a order number so at that time sai sabarsi will be zero zero because you are the first user who is changing so if sai sabarsi is zero we will simply simply update the database table we will set the payment mode whatever we are passing and what is the where condition means for which order number you want to change if that order number is already but if some user is already working on that order number so whenever this function module will execute other user will get the size of rc other than zero so we gave a message and in addition to this those who are new to programming we covered if something starts with sy it means it is a sap system variable system variables means they are already defined in the system rc stands for return code if this variable is giving the value zero it means the operation is successful if this variable is giving the value other than zero it means the operation is not successful if size of rc is other than zero we gave a message to give a message we firstly created the message class through sc91 transaction code and we have so many message number here from 000 to 999 and in front of 000 we gave the message text how we call that message into our program message message type message number and in the bracket we gave the message class in the next video we will again continue the same to same program and same perception those who know and those who don't know programming everyone can cope up with this topic
that's it in this video thank you